Gabriel here again with a killer recipe for, uh, for you today guys my baked crispy chicken nuggets one of my very popular recipe uh, most people like it get great feedback on it you can find it on page 44 uh, in the Anabali cooking cookbook um, so I'm just gonna start with showing you the ingredients that you need for this recipe again you don't need a whole lot of ingredients and it's very easy to do um, you need to start with three chicken breasts see I already uh, cut them into nugget sized pieces so, so something like that so you can see about you know an inch and a half um, squares uh, that would give you three chicken breasts should give you about 24 nuggets so basically you cut them so you can get 24 nuggets the serving is four nuggets uh, gives you about 100 calories so it's very low very high protein low fat low carbs awesome recipe um, so three chicken breasts cut into nugget sized pieces um, you need one egg white. I use, I just use uh, liquid egg whites. So I pour maybe one, two, maybe three egg whites, depending on how many, uh, how many I got. The thing is, you really want them to be rubbed, like to be rubbed in the in the egg whites, and uh, water or a low sodium chicken broth. Okay, that low, I prefer low sodium chicken broth just because of the taste. It brings a little extra taste to the sugar. Uh, I prefer it to water, but you can absolutely use water if you're careful, if you're um, conscious about your sodium intake. Although, like, it's a low sodium chicken broth, so with the stress about it, that wouldn't, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be like a whole lot of sodium. Um, so that's it. Now you have uh, oat bran, all right, quarter cup, quarter cup of wheat germs. And that could be replaced as well, wheat germs or wheat bran, whatever you, you have. Um, I got some um, crushed almonds, well it's actually powdered almonds, and uh, you can find out any, well lots of grocery store have that, or you can do that, do them yourself by just putting almonds in the food processor, that's gonna, you're gonna have like, it's gonna be powdered like that. Um, and some ground flax, all right? That's what you need, and of course you need a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I uh, always add a little bit of uh, garlic, garlic powder. So now I'm going to show you how to create that mix and how to create these nuggets before putting them in the oven. Okay, the first step is basically to mix all the dry ingredients together. So that's what's going to make the coating of your chicken nuggets. So we got the old brand here, quarter cup, wheat germ. Quarter cup and the almonds, quarter cup and a tablespoon of flaxseed. All right, so good tablespoon. There you go. So now you need a little bit of pepper. I say half a teaspoon. What I do, I just go, you know, by the eye. I like my stuff spicy. Just a little bit of a uh, of pepper. A little bit of sea salt, best quality salt guys, sea salt and some garlic powder. There you go. So now you mix everything together. You can either do that in a big bowl like this one or um, a tightly fitted um, a container, basically a plastic container, a big container with a tightly fitted lid. That would work as well. I got a big bowl like that, that works perfectly. Now you want to mix your chicken broth or water with your egg whites. There's two ways to do it. Either you can have it in a separate bowl and then dip the nuggets into a separate bowl. What I prefer to do is just placing my nuggets in a bowl like that and pouring the broth and the egg whites on top. So there you go. So they kind of marinate, chicken breasts kind of marinate in the mix of broth and egg whites. There you go. Make sure your hands are clean as well before you do that. And how I do that, then I just take a couple of nuggets and I just, just so you see, I just pass them in the mix like that. And, and after it's done, I place them. I got a baking pan here and it's slightly coated with olive oil. Olive oil is going to bring a little extra flavor as well to your, uh, to your nuggets and you just paste them on the baking sheet. 
like this one. And you repeat the process. Um, you repeat the process for the 24 nuggets. Okay, so now my 24 nuggets are ready to be baked it's on the baking sheet, all coated. Um, so now I preheated my oven at 400 degrees, and they're gonna be in there for about 15 minutes. All right. What I like to do though is every um, about after 10 minutes, I turn on then the other side for an extra five to 10 minutes, depending uh, on your oven. It really depends. It's up to you how you like them. You're gonna see it's gonna vary from oven to oven. So it, about 15 minutes overall. That's gonna take for your breast for your nuggets to cook. However, you know, just monitor, turn them after 10 minutes, and you're gonna have really golden crisp chicken nuggets. So we're gonna let them cook, and we're gonna come back with the, the final results. It's been a little bit more than 15 minutes now. Time to reveal the final results. It smells good anyway in the house. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at these. Big, crispy chicken nuggets. I'm going to leave them here so they can cool off and I can start enjoying them for, for supper. Very easy to do, very easy to cook, doesn't take a whole lot of time and it's going to please pretty much everybody. Even if you've got kids, you can even cook that for supper, no problem. So it's a very good recipe that you should have you know, on hand uh, at any time. Alright guys, see you soon, take care. So Remy, muscle cook or McDonald's? Definitely muscle cook. Goodbye, sub sub, baby. <laughs>